So finally, after 10 days of delay and wanting to do this, I can finally sp play Spell Bubble without any issues. I hope. <sighs> so I, last time I played this, we got, we, got, we got a little bit in there. And I was learning how to play the game. Probably going to run through that again because I don't... Not that I don't remember, but I didn't get to the actual part of the game that is important to, like, relevant to the actual game itself. Because I, I got I got through the basics of how to do the 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 bubble bust move gameplay, but then the exclusive the exclusive aspects of this game I do not know yet. Okay, so I'm looking at it. I'm looking at Rainbow Dance, and she's consistent. No no errors, no issues. This game's taking a while to load. God damn, really. Damn, dude, come on. Alright. Still a little bit low on volume. Let's try 11.6. I cracked my own volume. This might be quite on the quiet end. Okay. Finally. Not gonna touch anything. Let's I wanna play I wanna play the video game. Give me the tutorial. Let's go right into it. Hmm, the loading screen is the game. What? I was just hitting the wrong button? Um... Problem. Where's my tutorial? You can also choose the tutorial. Yeah, I would like to. Can I... Let me... Can I... Give me the tutorial, please. It's in the shrine. I don't remember clicking it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, I'll run through the tutorial. Well, we're gonna edge yourself on a uh, on bad apple again. Thank you for Tony for another gifted sub. We're gonna run through this. When it happened, it was just the same old, same old. I remember Marissa looking proud of herself as she held it hot off the presses. She was like, "It's a new invention created by the Magician Trio, representing Gensokyo. It's for a portable game console that you operate using spirit power." At the time, I thought, wow, she must be really bored. And maybe she was. Deja vu syndrome. Yeah, well. Last time I tried. Poopy. Poopy card. But when I turned it on, a wondrous scene unfolded before my eyes. I remember thinking, wow, that's a lot of bubbles popping around. And then she was like, aha, bubbles. She seemed to understand what was going on. At the time, I went through the motions, or just watched Marissa play. But I didn't really think much of it other than, well, this is weird. However, in time, once this game really took off against Sokyo, I came to realize it's a major breakthrough in gameplay. Even in a peaceful place like this, I sometimes feel like I'm in a feverish delirium, seeing things like storms that aren't really there. Even with a particular omen, you have to strain your eyes hard to see it. Sometimes it's nothing more than a little ripple in the air. Looking back now, it wasn't really signs of a major upheaval. In a way, it might have just been a little calm before the storm that Gen Sokyo hasn't seen before, or something like that. I like this part, because it's basically just the creators being like, yeah, we created something that took the entire world by storm. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. After some time passed that day, I was at Hakode Shrine, business as usual. The sun was warm for the time of year, embracing the air in peacefulness. Volume looks good. So they'll call it a day. Shrine made in a paradise, Reimu Hakure. I love windless days, saves me the trouble of dusting. Wish every day were this easy. What do we have here? Howdy! I was in the neighborhood. Excuse me? That's spelled incorrectly. Whoa! <clears throat> it's still low. How's 5.8? That good? Adjusting that slider actually adjusts my own volume for once. I, I changed the volume output to give it to me through my speakers and the TV, but I muted the TV. Louder? Louder? That's max volume. <laughs> that is as high as I can take it. I had, I had set it to negative 16. Huh, weird. Okay, well, I guess not adjusting... If it blows your eardrums out, let me know, but for now, it's at highest possible volume. I literally can't turn it up any higher than that. It's been a while, hasn't it? Looks like it's not much has changed, though. 
This is also the first time I'm testing this capture card and really using a capture card to begin with, so we'll see. Ordinary Magician, Marissa Kirisame. <laughs> Did you miss me? Sorry, things have been piling up. I've been traveling all over. Well, last time, my old capture card, I couldn't get the audio to play the way I wanted it, so I had to I had to manually plug into the capture card itself to get audio, so I couldn't tell what the volume was for it at all. That capture card's also a piece of shit, so... It is what it is. This capture card, though, is looking pretty, pretty hot. Pretty solid. The box it came in was, like, twice the size of the actual box it came in. Like, the capture card itself comes in a box, right? But then the box that it was shipped in was like, holy shit, what is this package? And I got, like, a whole layer of uh, padded air. No bubble wrap. <laughs> it's like, alright. Did you miss me? Sorry. Things have been piling up, traveling all over. Where to, exactly? Hmm, well, you can't help it if you're busy, so what are you up to? Well, this, of course, behold. It's just a game? Yeah, it is. Just traveling all over or something to do with that game? Of course. Oh, I get it. You didn't hear? Didn't hear what? You're not making sense. Unless you were traveling around showing off the game. Bingo! Trust a Shrine Maiden to get it. Wow, I was actually right. So, were you really showing everyone? <laughs> you sound pretty obsessed. So how did everyone react? Well, you see... I've got bad news. All signs point to this game being a big hit. All the yokai and Gensokyo have their sights on it. It's been distributed to yokai in the lakes, mountains, all over. They can't make copies quickly enough. It's a big hit. Huh? Are you sure? This is news to me. Oh, get with the times. If you don't keep up with the trends, your shrine will be in a slump. Hey, keep my shrine out of this. Oh, wait. You guys made that game, right? If you can't keep up with production... Wait, are you, like, super rich now? Whoa, easy, Tiger. I'm not rich. Not yet, anyway. I made it just for funsies, but I'm pleasantly surprised that a lot of people like it and want it. Aha, now I get it. <laughs> well, now are you interested? Am I interested? I guess so. Sounds like it might be fun. Okay. Show me how to play. I know how to play. Ah, you've taken the bait. That's the spirit. Okay. Let's start the tutorial. Alright, chat. Now we're gonna see. If the game doesn't lag, I will be very happy. <laughs> I highly doubt it will lag. Because this capture card is brand new. And it's high quality. I think. I hope. Why they? So I've done the tutorial before in a, a slump of lag. This time it'll be better. And now we're all gonna get edged on Bad Apple for a little bit. Alrighty, guess I'll show you how to play this game. Spell Bubble is a puzzle game that this uh, this game kills boredom even for Shrine Maidens who have nothing to do. Hey, stop making me sound like a bum. Ha ha ha, well I'll just learn this quickly so we can get down to playing. Alright, the short version is you launch a bubble from a glyph and make them pop. It's that simple. It's that simple. Chat. I can't stand this. That's two errors already. Hey, wasn't that a little too simple? I mean, I think I get it, but still. Okay, hold your horses. I'll explain in detail now. These bubbles are called color bubbles, and when you link three of the same color together, they pop. There are three basic moves. Use A to shoot, change direction, B to swap. Okay. Pop. Two out of ten. Goodbye. Game over. Try again. Can't believe I spent that much money on a game like this. It's definitely not machine translation, but there are some errors that slip through the cracks. You can link even more than three of the same colored bubbles together and they'll all pop. You know, it all comes down to practice, Raymo. Make your bubbles just make some bubbles disappear. Okay. No more edging. Ed <laughs> Never mind, that's even worse. That's even worse! <laughs> well, anyone could do that. Was that too easy? Okay, next, as you can see, Spell Bubble is a competitive game. Whoever collects the most bubbles within the time limit wins. The time limit is displayed here. Take note of the time will vary depending on the songs you choose. Since this is just a tutorial, we're nixing the time limit. If you down, if you down your opponent, you can take their bubbles. 
By downing, I mean that the bubbles in their area get below this red line. If your opponent is down, you can collect all the bubbles in their area. People, the number of bubbles you collect will be tallied into your score and displayed on the scoreboard. That's Rainbow's score. And this is my score. For every three shots you make, more bubbles will automatically be added from above. Good. But attacks from your opponent sometimes make extra bubbles fall faster than you're used to. And if you don't pop them fast, you'll be down before you know it. You can also manually use the X to make more bubbles appear. More bubbles means more swoop. Okay. The bubbles that are sent to you via charge into uh, attacks charge into blank bubbles and their purpose is to get in the way. When you pop a bubble, they're automatically sent to your opponent. Rainbow, could you pop a bubble for me? Uh, uh. The blank bubbles you send pile up in your opponent's area. Every time your opponent shoots, they're released in your opponent's area. Yes. If a blank bubble is... If a blank bubble is hits a bubble you shot, it changes to the same color. Connect three. Same number of the areas we've seen. And you can pop them. They're easy to pop, but they're re but they really get in the way uh, when there's so many of them. By the way, if you have blank bubbles in your own area, pop those first. We call this neutralizing. I know this all sounds more complicated than it really is. Anyway, just make a bunch of your bubbles disappear before your opponent and you're golden. Okay, time for a real match. Are you ready? Just shoot, shoot bubbles. Okay. Just shoot bubbles. No edging required. Is it gonna give me the next part of it? So what happens if I... What happens if I hit something like what I... You saw how I did there? Where I shot I shot things that were connected from the top and bubbles just kind of fell from the ceiling. Do those do anything or are those just like dead bubbles? Oh, I got lost. You seem to be enjoying this too much. Down your opponent a bunch and you win. I guess that covers the puzzle portion. Okay, our tutorial one. That's something I didn't cover, is what happens to bubbles that get disconnected that way. Wow, you're a fast learner. Mad respect to Shrine Maidens. Hey, being a Shrine Maiden has nothing to do with it. It's just easy. It counts as getting rid of them normally. Does it? Because when I get rid of things normally, it adds extra dead bubbles. I'm just wondering if that happened, because I wasn't paying attention to that. But wow, a competitive game that uses spirit power. It's a very nicely made toy. How'd you come up with the idea? I never once heard of a magician using her powers to make something so frivolous. I know, right? It took a lot of time and effort to get where I am today. Time and effort. Yeah, I guess magicians have too much time on their hands. Don't focus on the time part. Call it Magician's Playful Thirst for Knowledge. It's a magical toy that we magicians of Gensokyo created after weeks of heated discussions. <laughs> amazing, right? Tell me it's not amazing. We all thirst for knowledge. To some extent. And we name this game... Spell Bubble. Hmm, interesting. Okay, now I get it. Oh, your lack of applause disturbs me. There's even more surprises in store. Let's move on to the advanced tutorial. Okay, this is the part I got to. By the time we got here, we were 40 minutes into the recording because I had to constantly deal with issues. So let's see what's going on here. 40 minutes with a capture card. It's crapped out. Not a single issue yet. Yes! Advanced tutorial. I don't know what you want to show me exactly, but there's more. What we did so far was just the basics. Next, I'll show you advanced techniques you need to know in a real battle. We'll start easy, so definitely take notes. This is a must if you want to win. If I want to win, uh, I'm a noob? Can I really pull off advanced moves so soon? Don't worry about that, my friend. It's not too hard. 
It's just if you memorize these techniques, you'll have way more fun. In more ways than one. Okay, well, if you insist, I'll hear you out. That's the spirit. And thus, Hakure Shrine Maiden shall take her first step on the long and narrow bubble path. Oh, please, just get to the point. The term died and ended up against Sokyo. That's good lore. <laughs> that right there is good lore. What's with these different color bubbles that represent elements? Why can't why haven't I seen those show up yet? I'm sure these uh, these load times are a little bit uh Here we go again. So here's something I neglected to mention. This game actually also relies heavily on rhythm. Link a bunch of color bubbles together and tap in time to the rhythm. This is what we call beat mode. When you're in beat mode, you tap A to beat it. You can't do that this month, though. If you tap A at the correct time, you can send your opponent lots of blank bubbles. Just watch. The moment the two circles overlap, push A. If you get a perfect, you've scored. If you get it too slow or too fast, you'll fail. One more time. This time, try to link a bunch together. Nutbuster. The target hones in automatically, so there's no need to aim. Just focus on your timing. With each successful rhythm beat, you score one point. Okay, let's try a little rhythm beats challenge. I like rhythm games. Can't do that online though. Hey, 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 hey. Capture card works perfectly fine. I've had zero issues setting it up and zero issues with uh, everything else with it. Oh, you're a rock star. Well, this is me we're talking about. Rhythm is kind of my thing. Plus, if you pop color bubbles, your awakening gauge rises. Okay, this is the part where I'm lost. So now she's gonna do things. When your awakening gauge is full, you're sent into the awesome awakening mode. There you can really make beats fly. When you're in awakening mode, your awakening gauge will gradually run out. When it's empty, awakening mode is over. Oh, she had a purple one. The color bubbles in awakening mode are laid out in many different patterns. If you can, try to memorize them. Rainbow, could you make a shot for me? Uh, okay, but what, why? <laughs> Ah, oh. oh, hey, you downed me. Sorry about that, but look, notice how you suddenly look really cool. When you're down, you enter counterattack mode, and just like in awakening mode, you can perform attacks too. While you're in awakening mode and in counterattack mode, you're invincible. Blank bubbles are not sent from your stockpile, so you can focus fully on attacking. Okay, one last lesson. You brought them, right? Yeah, I did. Don't tell me we're using it here of all places. Of course, for old time's sake. Spell cards. In spell bubbles, spell cards are what you call special attacks. After a certain amount of time passes, you can use your spell cards. When they start to glow, activate them by tapping Y. Without further ado, I'll activate my spell card. Here we go. See, that's kind of wiener. That's not that good. Spell cards have two major categories, cards that affect you and cards that affect your opponent. The color of the card determines which type it is. Blue affects you, red affects your opponent. Cards that affect you have a blue outline, cards that affect your opponent have a red outline. Okay. But if you use a card on your opponent while in awakening mode or counterattack mode, it's repelled. Wow, that sounds good. I'd like to try it out. So tap Y to activate your spell card and show me what you got. What just happened? The bubbles cha color change is more fun than I thought. I know, right? I'm glad you're enjoying it. Now let's review. Beat to the rhythm. <laughs> Pop bubbles. <laughs> Pop bubbles and you'll enter awakening mode. In awakening mode, begin your onslaught. And when you need them, activate your spell card. Okay. Uh, sure. I guess it'll make more sense the more I play. Good. Shrine Maidens have such great form. <laughs> Again, being a Shrine Maiden has nothing to do with it. I was born with good form anyway. Yes, yeah, she does have that. 
Putting your spirit power into the music beats called rhythm beats are a crucial part of mastering this game. Letting the music carry you is the trick. Aha, so the music is more than a gimmick. Also important. Also important, spell cards. Don't leave home without them. Not giving up a chance to turn the tables in your favor is crucial for victory. They're your trump cards, if you will. Sure, that's nice and all, but is it really fair to use my own abilities in this game? There's rules, just like in the Don Maku game. If everyone used their abilities to cheat, it wouldn't be a fair game for anyone, right? We have to make a rule for it. You can only use spell cards while they're charged. In other words, you spend your trump cards wisely. Okay, that makes sense. There are essential elements of both awakening mode and counterattack mode. Make sure you remember that. Wow, a lot of thought went into this. Now I can see why it's so popular. You know, right? This is the newest spirit power game against Sokyo. And it's called... Here it comes again. Yeah, yeah, spell bubble. I remember. <laughs> Trust the hacker they try and made to remember. They didn't do it. I got edged again. I'm sick of all this edging. So I don't know like any of the songs that are included in this game aside from like Bad Apple and one of the DLC packs. So I guess we'll learn what happens. Bubble no Juman ha shoot push pop. An awakening bubble appears with a five combo when the awakening gauge is high. Five combo pot and bubbles complex is unlocked. What does that mean? Extinguish four columns in the middle. Am I am I playing now? Well, now that we know how to play, want to play a real match? All right, a real match. All right, it is a competitive game. Exactly, Spell Bubble is a two-person game. You can't forget that bit of information. After all, most of it's a battle mode. In other words, one-on-one -on -one competition. A duel where your honor is on the line. It's also kind of like a sport. Honor on the line, over dramatic much. <laughs> Okay, I did get a little carried away. Forget I said honor. But still, when there's a winner and a loser, the stakes are definitely higher. A real step up from solo play. So, wanna play now? I'll give you a stupid reason to delete a message. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm good at it, but okay, I challenge you. Good! Your eagerness feeds my thirst for self-improvement. Okay, let's jump into it. Uh, okay, go easy on me. So, oh, it tells you what they do, okay. Change bubbles the area to yellow in a V-shape, extinguish four columns in the middle, and the charge time is 70 seconds and 90 seconds. Okay. Hers charge is faster, why? Ready, ready in the bed. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Arm. Oh god, I could I, There's too much there. I. <laughs> wow. That was unexpected. How's volume, chat? I'm enjoying this. I need to be, I need better reflexes. That's what I need. This is, this is fantastic. <laughs> and it, you gotta listen to the whole song if you want to get through it. This is the kind of game it'd be really fun to get good at. Shit. Shit. <laughs> 
That's fine. I should have charged more of that. Yeah, no, okay, I didn't use that right. There we go. There's two minutes left. That was my own fault. Probably shouldn't be so quick. Shouldn't be so quick to drop the thing. That's what I'm noticing. I seem to have a gauge down there by Reima. Just now noticing the colors. The colors rotate between red, yellow, and blue consistently. That was, uh... <laughs> wow, that was some, that was some sugary sweet music, that's for sure. Hmm. Well, the, the, the timer is dependent on the, uh, the song itself, so you always have to listen to the whole song. That's why even though Fall in the Dark is in the game, it's not the nine minute version. The nine minute version of that song would go on for a while. That's fun, that needs more focus though. <clears throat> I like when things go into the beat. Wish it was a nine minute version. I don't know if anyone would want to play that long though. <clears throat> Ugh. You got me. Shrine made in sure of great form. Again with the Shrine Maiden nonsense. Besides, you were going easy on me. It was painfully obvious. Ugh, you got me. Well, you know, I just wanted you to develop a taste for victory. Besides, it's no fun beating someone who's learned the rules like two minutes ago. Ha, <laughs> huh, good point. Okay, I'll go ahead and celebrate my first victory. Yeah. So you're saying this is gonna blow up again, Sokyo? Gotta say, I don't really see that happening. But that's just your personal opinion. You don't exactly follow trends. No, I... Huh? We're missing... We're missing something there in that ID. What's going on here? Well, yeah, I don't follow trends. I need to see the evidence for myself before I believe it's true. Aha! Have I got an event for you. You see, a mountain shrine is holding an event for this game. Event? Yep, a promotional event to spread the joy of Spell Bubbled against Sokyo and beyond. Well, uh, we'll make bigger fans out of the fans and fans of the non-fans. 
And this event is called Gensokyo Spell Bubble Exhibition Tournament. Wow, that's really a thing? Yeah. It's sponsored by the Moria Shrine and the Scarlet Devil Mansion, and it co-sponsors are a, are a who's who of Gensokyo. It's a promotional event led by a sector of yokai who saw the potential in Spell Bubble. Wow, it's really gotten that big. Well, when it goes- when it comes to absolute boredom, you can't really beat the old folks, huh? They'll- they'll pretty much latch onto anything that seems interesting to them. I wasn't expecting Romilia to sponsor this game, though. I made the game for my own enjoyment, and it's wild to see so many other groups in interested in it. Everyone probably has their own agenda, but I think it's much more of a spectacle than more- the more kinds of people get involved. Speaking of which, you're well known around here, even outside yokai circles. Wanna come with me to the event? Wh what? Are you sure it's okay for a noob like me to go to an event like that? It was on sale the first two weeks. Yeah, it's a full price game, just like Gensel Wander. They have so much licensed music and DLC packs. It's a fun game. Still haven't seen if it's worth the price yet. Gensel Wander is a game that I put over 100 hours into and I'm still playing it. So that one I would say is justified as a full price game. It really depends how, mu how, many, uh, how many hours you consider putting into a game before you consider it full price value, right? I think if I can play this game for more than like 15 hours total and still want to play more of it, then it's it's good. I think that's good price asking. Are you sure it's okay for a new like me to go to an event like that? You know how hard it'd be- it would be hard to do online for this game because of the rhythm factor. You'd have to- you'd have to have rhythm with, with uh, ping. So you'd have to have weird rhythm. I'm not saying it's impossible, but if they ever made it, then they would need a- not a workaround, but that would be a while. It has more replay value than Gensel. Well, it's not about that- it's not that. It's not that- Gensel Wander doesn't need replay value when the game itself is fucking massive. That this game is, a. Uh, this game is- it's- it's a puzzle game, right? It has to have replay value. Of course, it may be called a tournament, but it's really more like an exhibition game. There's gonna be famous guests of honor, too. And the tournament wouldn't be for a while. You'd have plenty of time to practice. Besides. Besides what? I'm hoping to make the game playable by humans, too, someday. Which means, it needs to spread even further into Gensokyo's subcultures. Which means, it'll be a hit even in the PODUNK. Chat, what's a paw dunk? I s you see where this is leading, right? No, I don't. I don't know what a paw dunk is. You mean merchandising? Spell bubble buns, spell bubble charms, spell bubble top player talk show. Oh no. <laughs> no. Exactly. The event's being held near Moria Shrine this time. Doesn't that mean they're gonna all merch seals merch sales this time? Hmm. Hypothetical small town regard as typically dull or insignificant. Poddunks, the human village. Since you and I are friends, I can't just stand the sight of you being passed over. Well, wanna do it? Okay, fine. Your sweet talking work. Yeah, fighting games do it and stuff. They can set it up for sure, but I imagine it wasn't their first top priority. It's just, there's no way to cut out every single, uh... There's absolutely, there's no way to cut out every single frame of delay with online connections, but the greater the distance, then the, the worse it's gonna be and you have to adjust to it. So there's usually like, uh, I guess it depends how lenient the uh, frame window for perfect is. It's fairly easy and the, the, the change, uh, the tempo doesn't really change, you just need to pay attention and you can hit it. The only thing that kind of throws me off is sometimes the beat I'm doing is different from the beat to the song. And then I instinctively hit the button to the beat of the song and it's like, oh, that didn't register. Oh, cool. So you're on board. Just one thing. Give me some time to think about whether or not I'll be in the tournament. I don't even know about this event until today. I'd like to pick some industry type brains first. I didn't even know Reimu had a passive. <laughs> oh, so she has a chair. Okay, that's good. You'll come with me, right? You're serious about it? Of course I'll come with. And so I let Marissa talk me into sticking my neck into the spell bubble business. Oddly enough, nothing ominous has happened. But the closer the day came, and the more abuzzed Gensokyo became. 
days leading up to the tournament were at a festival like excitement, and the tension before a war horn is blown. This is basically going to be a listen to music stream. <laughs> Whoa, a map. All right, let's chat. Let's uh, let's grade this map on its Gensokyo accuracy right now. So this is the shrine, and it's directly above the human village. Uh, I don't know about that. And the bamboo forest is right there. Mm, I don't know about that either. And the Scarlet Devil Mansion is on an island on the Misty Lake, which is kind of correct. And there's Corindo outside the Forest of Magic, so that's correct. There's the underground, the Palace of the Earth Spirits, that's fine. Uh, I see Higan all the way over there with the red spider lilies. Hakugokuro, of course, is above it, not really connected. And then the Moria Shrine in the top of the Yokai Mountain. The Gembu Ravine that leads into... Yep. Well, there's some... 2 out of 10, try again. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough, yeah. Close enough. I'm gonna get DMCA'd. Well... Shouldn't, shouldn't. It's in the game, right? I said this before, but like if the game, the music in the game, the people who claim the music is it should be right scale, right? And they don't claim the, they don't claim music that's actually from the games themselves. So I would assume I wouldn't get any claims. If I do, then that's just fucking stupid. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with that. I really don't. I like, I like moving her. I just compare all maps to the puppet dance performance one. To be fair, that is one of the best maps we've ever had. Who is this girl? Wait, I can have different spell cards? Okay. There's only two difficulties, though. Puppeteer Maiden's Bunurako. Opponent aim is cute for five shots. Song- oh god. <laughs> Chat, it's the meme song. Marissa stole the precious thing. And you know what? I bet it's gonna have that like five second droning note in it. I made something called a paint bubble when surrounding bubbles change color. If a bubble you shot hits one of the same color, they are linked. Wait, what? When sun when surrounding bubbles when surrounding bubbles change color. If a bubble you shot hits one of the same color, there What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Well I have to do it. Thought we were going to your place, Marissa. Guess I was wrong. What point would there be to going in my, to my place? Yeah, it doesn't even have a house. Never mind that. I just thought there'd be someone who's about your on your level. One of the magicians who helped develop the game. Someone you know, of course. Hmm. Some music gets claimed regard. I know Tony Hawk was a big problem for that. Tony Hawk had made a made a mode that disabled copyrighted music. But the thing is, those are like big record labels and RIAA and dinosaur copyright laws and stuff, but most of the music in here is... Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know too much about the, the fan music stuff, but... I, I don't I don't think there's gonna be too many issues. If there really is an issue, then there's an issue and I can't really do much about it, but I, I like to think that I'll be okay. Hmm. I think we'll be okay. Hello, anybody here? I'm coming in. Wait a minute, I'm not in there. Trend chasing doll user, Alice. The absolute contrast in art style here. Holy shit. <laughs> Who? Look at these two. They're so delicate. It's like a different game. Not even gonna try to pronounce your name. It's Alice Margatroyd. What's wrong with that? Hmm? Hmm? The titles match the story. Yeah. I like that in Lotus Eaters a lot, where everyone is related to alcohol. And then in Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, they're all related to their weathers. They're creative titles. They probably every character has probably had at least two titles. Two or three titles to attributed to them. The theming is great. See, we're outside. Oh, I was about to let myself in. I keep telling you, don't come in until I answer. What if I was busy with something? Busy with what? Remember? I said I was about to let myself in. 
You do that when I'm gone anyway. Huh? Why is she fully voiced? Huh? What's going on here? Favoritism? Hmm. Oh, the Shrine Maiden is with you today. What a pleasant surprise. Good to see you again. I didn't realize this was the destination. Indeed, I asked you here to be a sparring partner, Alice. Since you were outside just now, that must mean you were playing, right? Sparring partner? Oh, you must be talking about Spell Bubble. Her lines aren't translated anymore. Rainbow's being used because brand recognition. <laughs> you drag Rainbow around, everyone knows it's Toho. So you want me to spar at the Shrine Maiden? Surprised, I wouldn't expect someone like you to be into this game. I only recently found out about it, so I guess there's each other's training wheels. She made the game though, right? Don't call it training wheels, it's just more fun when you're on the same level. And Alice, for a trend chaser, you're still not very good, right? So I thought I'd introduce you to a, to a what? What the heck? First you barge into my house, then you call me unskilled. Hear that, Marissa? You better stay in bounds if you know what's good for you. Easy, you two. It's not bicker over semant uh, semantics and give just give it a try. Most gacha games have different artists. Some some reprise their role and do multiple characters. All right, here we go. This is a four-minute song. I'm gonna I'm gonna play. I'm gonna focus on the game. You can enjoy the music, chat. Uh, warning. If, I'm assuming this is straight up the the song in question. So about three or so minutes in, there's gonna be a droning note, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Here we go. Oh, I see how it works. Why is there a... Hmm. No, I still don't really get that. Hmm. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> She's just cheating. comes the droning note. Oh, wait. Nope. I don't think it's there. I think they removed it because it was awful. <laughs> oh, hold on. This is a good opportunity to do this.
No, there's the droning note. Why? Why would you keep that part of the song? Why? <laughs> Why would you keep that part of the song? <laughs> it's the most important part. Dude, it sounded even worse in the game. They really made that the last five seconds. Why? Who looked over that song and was like, yeah, let's include this. Oh, please. <laughs> Ugh, I lost to a beginner. All right. Oh, right. That was kind of... It's kind of fun when you win. I guess a person can be too much of a faster learner. Now you're making Alice feel insecure. It wouldn't feel... It wouldn't just wouldn't be the song if they took it out. Oh, but man, it shouldn't have been there to begin with. That's how I feel about it. It's like the secret behind the waterfall, right? If you find a secret room behind a waterfall in a video game, you're like, huh, wow, that was super obvious. I knew that was there. But if you if you jump into a waterfall and there's no secret room behind there, you feel betrayed. So there's, <laughs> there's no winning there. It's like, what the hell? There should have been a secret room there. I can't believe this. But as soon as there is one, you're like, oh, well, that was obvious. Why'd they even put that there? Don't be silly. What should I have done then? That's what I would do with a time machine. Let them know that their droning note is not a good idea. I thought I improved a little after practicing with the fairies at the lake. Today's just an unlucky day. Yep, we're going with that excuse. Fairies at the lake? You're telling me even the fairies play this game? Huh? Oh yeah, fairies have a very playful disposition anyway. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. <laughs> and they're all quick studies, so they're improving really fast. But when I see how much fun they're having, I, I feel kind of proud as the developer. Losing still sucks though. That entire song is great up to that point, I swear. It's just that's, that part's right at the end. It's like, you don't need that part. The fairies really enjoy the samples that they were distributed a while ago. I'm actually really grateful. Incidentally, Alice is handling mass production of this game. It's a doll utilized one girl production. She's so dexterous, it's scary. Hey, don't call me certain things just because it's convenient for you. I'm actually having a pretty hard time. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Oh, I see an excited crowd. Interesting. So my next destination is the lake. Lake. Yeah, has to be that lake. Well, I guess we'll have to check it out. Alice does all the work herself, you know. She controls the dolls with her uh, finger magic. She's really good with her fingers. Because the, the dolls don't move on their own. The, she controls them. She has great dexterity. So she's running her own operation. That's why she's so tired. Imagine controlling 20 dolls with one hand. You wiggle your fingers and all of them do little fine motor skills. It's like, damn. Hey, hold up. It's bad karma to go after you've just won a battle. Pingles. One more battle. One more battle. Ah, uh, I see what's going on here. There's such a thing as a sore loser. That's what it is. She, did you ever, have you ever seen what she looks like in the fighting games? Alice Margatroid. Margatroid. Well, they pronounced it like that. I call her Margatroid because it's easier on my tongue. That's not the Misty Lake. Why did I go back here? Phrasing? No, 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 no. What I said is correct. Whee! Wait, what? Bruh, there are, th there are three fights here and then a fucking tutorial. What do you mean there's a tutorial after them? Also, Malin got shafted again. Um, fire, water, wood, metal, earth, sign, philosopher's stone. Increases opponent's bubbles to five colors. Blank bubbles are mixed in two. The song is Imagina. I'll just equip paint arrow bubbles for you. When the arrow changes, when the arrow's direction's color changes, you can make longer change. What does that mean? When the arrow's direction's color changes, you 
I don't get that. <clears throat> I don't. I don't understand. I still don't really understand the paint bubble. Does is if I hit it, it turns everything around it. Chat, who is the voice of Sakria here? I need information. Is this the same person who did the voice of her in Tohovania too? Sounds close. Sounds close. The paint bubble paints bubbles. Yeah, it, does it paint the bubble the color that the, the, the painted one is? So if I hit a red one, it, it paints them all red, yeah? Hmm. Unfortunately, my lady still has preparations to make. It is, they got, they got the same voice for her. How much of that is true for the other characters, like Reimu and Marissa? Because that voice sounded so, so familiar. I was like, that has to be the Sakri voice I'm used to. Why else would it sound familiar? Preparations to make? Who needs preparations? It's just us. Oh, whoops. So I, have a, I have a tendency to ask like five questions at once and then I accept the answer for, uh... The answer I see in chat for all of them. <laughs> Oops. Isn't she probably just lazing around in bed? The sun only just set after all. Still sounds close to it. It's the way she says Ojo-sama. I need, I need a chat. I need confirmation. It's a good voice, yeah. But it just sounds so familiar. I would appreciate it if you didn't snoop to that end. Until my lady has made an appearance, allow me to... Entering from the front door. How unusual. Reimu is voiced by Ayaka Suwa. And Marissa is voiced by Naomi Ozra. Hmm. Now I need the information. Who, who, did, who did they voice? I just checked. It is the same voice actor. It is her? Alright, how many How many of those are consistent? How many of those are consistent from Toa too? That So that's just the Sakuya voice, huh? There's, we've just accepted that now? The Unmoving Great Library. The un uh, Patchouli Knowledge. <laughs> oh, not you too, Lady Patchouli. Ouch, that hurts. But I had to come through the front door today. I brought someone with me. I always tell you to come in that way. Maybe try cleaning your ears for once. Wow, rude. And again, she deserves that. Now, now, dearest partner, I brought you a super rookie today. Allow me to introduce... Don't spoil any future characters, no. I have a feeling I know who's gonna show up, but let's just keep it to the characters on screen. Cut the act, so you're playing this game too. Mm. Playing barely scratches the surface. I practically designed half of it. <laughs> what? Oh, didn't I mention that? It's me, Alice, and this sickly kid is the third magician in question. Who'd you think it was, Reimu? The, the revolutionary portable game console birthed by Gensokyo's latest magic tech. That's what this is. Oh, now that makes sense. No one ever really fits the description of magician in Gensokyo who's on your wavelength. I guess when you think about it, technically Byakuden and Ichiden count as yokai magicians too, huh? Hmm. Saga is Umeka Shoji, who is not the same as Toavania. What? No way. That's not the same? What other roles has she done? Well, this is def- They sound so similar, though. That's crazy. This definitely beats being given the runaround by a mysterious item that causes disasters of epic proportions. Narami is too? She's a... She's a living Jizo statue. She was given power by the back door. So I guess, does she count? Would she count? Then again, I don't question why Ichiden counts. Byakuren counts because she actually pursued a magical arts in fear of her own mortality. Don't you think they're at some brand for Gensokyo? I'm kind of an expert. Oh, well, can't say you're wrong. Hey, don't lump this game together with a mysterious item. That really hurts. It was just for an instance. I'm saying I'm glad this is not that. Oh, please. Won't you two just stop fighting over semantics? Weren't you saying earlier that you're having fun? Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I did say that. And you should have said something sooner, like, Hey, I made this game with her. I made this, smiley. Who's Patchy's voice? Ichiden's not- Ichiden used to be a human, 
but she turned into a yokai after befriending a, a Nyudu. And it's kind of weird, because it doesn't really specify anything in her lore. It's just kind of like, she, uh, she, she met Unzan and beat him, and Unzan was so impressed that he followed her around, and then she just kind of became a yokai, I guess, by whatever. I don't really understand. I'm not bothered by it. I'm wearing my host hat right now anyway. You have multiple hats? Befriend collab person, become yokai. Though if you show me what your development team member indoor super rookie is made of, I can pretend I didn't hear that. Now I want to know Patchy's voice actors. Yeah, increase the opponent's bubbles to five colors, and blank bubbles are mixed in two. So that's, I guess that's where the, the, the purple and the green ones come from, huh? Risei and Matsuda for Patchy. I need, I need other roles they've done. I can't, I don't remember them by name, but if you give me roles, if you give me prominent roles, I'll know exactly who we're talking about. Oh, this is an Akatsuki record song. Cool. And that's Stack. God, do I recognize Stack. I don't understand how that works.
Wow. Uh, I don't know how old that one is. Uh, that's the first time I heard that one. Yep, stack, stack always delivers, huh? One thing I really like about Akatsuki Records is they're not really afraid to try something different. And sometimes it kind of doesn't work for me anyway, but every uh, every now and again they, they hit it. Like in in their recent their recent PVs they've uploaded, like uh, Bloody Darkness and Carmination. And uh I think there was one more. I think it was Kokodo's theme. <clears throat> I think it was Kokodo's theme. But they put up another one. I wasn't really like car combination and eh. bloody darkness. I was like this is a bit this is a bit edgy. And then the, the one after that I was like eh. eh. But like Hendoism is really good. Uh Necromantic is fantastic. Uh Honey, uh, Honey Paganda is really, really good. I love Eternal Summer. There's so many good ones. <clears throat> Put Pandora 66. Yeah, no. I, I didn't like the I didn't like the portion. You know, so every now and again, like, like she has really good range, right? And then every now and again, they're like, all right, let's throw in some English and like do some rapping. And the thing about Necromantic is when I first heard it, I was like, this is kind of a jam. And then when it got to the part where it's like, Necromantic, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's unexpected. And uh, I had, I listened to it, and I was like, this is really weird. But then I listened to it again, and uh, here we go. Yeah, Akatsuki Records did Warning Warning. It's on their uh, PV channel as well. The PV for Keiki Steam is great. I don't remember that song, honestly. I don't think I enjoyed it too much. I think my uh, I think my absolute favorite that I've heard by them so far is Eternal Summer. I really like the Kogasa song they had too. I forget what it's called though because it didn't have an English name. <clears throat> that one's really good. Fucking Stack pretty much go, uh, does a tongue twister in the, in the lyrics. I don't know how she does it. As a raindrop sounds correct, yeah. That's a really good one. Man, this game makes me want to revisit their older stuff. God damn it. There's so many I wanted to check out, but I just haven't really bothered, right? It's hard to... Like, when, I, when you listen to music, you want to actually, like, listen to the music. Instead of just kind of putting it on the background. Pretty sure I have a few of their records <clears throat> downloaded. Go listen to more of them. I really like, uh... I really like Rock On as well. It's a really... It's a shorter Suiko song. I love the energy behind it. Stactus is really good voice, that's all. Imagine it was published on... Shit, really? Is that new? <laughs> wow, that's... that's. Wait a minute. But didn't this game come out in February? Wait, are you doing... Are you doing month, day, year? Or are you doing day, month, year? What, what are you doing? Because I, I, I have a... Day, month? Okay, because my... Because this game came out in February, right? So that that song was probably made for this game then. Grr, okay, fine. I'll call it quits here for today. Whoa there. Are you okay with letting a beginner defeat you? No, it's not entirely unusual for a game developer to be unskilled playing their own game. It's true. I have no control over my own quality options, just so you know. You don't get those... You don't get that level of... Uh, personalization unless you're like a partner so basically uh, the way i understand it it's that i have quality options until they need to give quality options to other people because there's too many people on and then i lose quality options so there's no change like you can only change between this and source it's weird hmm there's no upload for this on their channel either the rest of youtube other than gameplay videos really damn it Damn it, man! That's a good. That's a good song. That was really good. I can't believe you'd say that about your own game. If I may be frank, I'm afraid that game adjustments were handled exclusively by someone close to me. It's a square peg, round hole situation. <laughs> Sun dies today. <laughs> it happens. Well, wasn't that a good level of sparring partner for you, Framo? 
Indeed, I feel like I'm getting more and more comfortable playing. I know, right? Well, I think your next opponent might be a tiny bit stronger. What's happened so far? Uh, I've played a few characters and gushed over music. Patchuli no Leji. So next to Sakuya. Song, Night of Nights, Night of Nights. Wait a minute, what? Illusion Phantom Jack the Ludo Bile. Fires eight knives in your opponent's area. A knife changes bubbles into blank bubbles. The bubbles a knife is aimed at will change into blank bubbles, so watch out. It will activate when touched by a fire bubble. Oh, I see. Okay. What song is this? I don't, I don't recognize the title. Hey, hey, hey. Lady Patch... Lady Pacholti! <laughs> Lady Pacholti. <laughs> That's a good name. Lady Pacholti got served. They did it again. Well then. Perhaps I shall avenge Lady Pacholti. <laughs> <laughs> by challenging you. <laughs> Perfect and elegant game master, Sakuya Izayawi. Oh, that was a weird crust. Oof, such spirit. This one cuts a bit different than the others, right? Pacholti! It's not- it's- it's correct in her name box. Of course, as our prize playtester during the development stages, I can vouch for her skill. Neither Patchouli nor Alice are the gaming type, so during development, it was mostly Saki and me who butt heads. Saki is a gamer? She doesn't give off the vibe of someone who can master any game she touches. I could totally see her learn someone into a trap in chess or something. If I stop in time, of course. That, that... Cheating. It's by cheating. Who would be so petty? I don't need to cheat to beat you. Yeah, yeah, I get that impression. Okay, it's on. Okay, super rookie. Time to train. Let's expand those horizons. Ready, game and boss of Scarlet Devil Mansion. <laughs> this, yes. This is what I've longed for. A true gamer. Could you please not give me two trivial names? Says the person who called her Pat Cholti. Okay, now let's see. Let us see what you're made of. Thanks, Master. Go easy on me, okay? Perfect, an elegant gamer. Now that's a title. I can't believe I don't even get to start with Fantasy Seal. That feels wrong. I don't even know what Wild Exorcism Dance is. <laughs> TAS stands for Time Who's Stopping. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is by Beat Mario. Oh my god, it's this one! No way.
Uh, okay. Oh, I see. I keep, I keep looking at the bubble. I keep looking at the bubble that's going into the machine next, and I'm like, okay, that's the bubble that's going to happen, right? And then it's not the bubble that happens, and then my pattern, my, my, my memory is all kinds of fucked. It's like, I'm waiting for the put the bubble in, but then I'm not actually waiting for the bubble to go in. Damn it. It's not as easy as it looks. It's simple in theory, but like, there's, there's, there's more to it. There's more to it than you think. Okay, I somehow did it. Impressive. I knew you were a fast learner, but how intriguing. You seem to have mastered the basics. Yikes, she's managing to sound smug even when lost. Your competence and skill made me get really fired up, even though that's out of character for you. Oh, you think so too? Yeah, I really like that fiery look in your eyes. You were like, super rookie. Again, stop calling me that. It's lame. Hey, hey, hey. Getting fired up just proves that you're taking this game seriously. Even though you know it's a game, it feels good to treat it as something more. Though if we met on the tournament stage, we'd surely become enemies. Until then, I wish you the best. Oops, I totally forgot about the tournament. <laughs> Well, don't forget about that. Why do you think we're on this PR mission in the first place? Oh. Ah, yes, the tournament. It'd be nice if Remy would come out soon. I sense a butt. Unfortunately, she had a hard time getting out of bed. She's just been lazing around. Oh, oh Lady Patchouli, you went there. Aha, so that's why you came out instead. Yeah, I figured that was the case. She'll need some time, right? In that case, I'd love to go check on the fairies playing by the lake. Good idea. We'll come back after she wakes up. And allow me to es and allow me to escort you there. My lady will probably require a few more hours in bed. So I don't get to actually do it? I don't get to fight Remy? They're just kicking me out making me have to go play Cheerno? Or not. Vermilion Earth. I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, Scarlet Bat, Vampirish Knight. Release five bats on your opponent, but bats will sap awakening power. My cute little bat sucks energy when they sap your opponent's awakening gauge. You hit a fire bubble, they will retreat. Okay. It's your OB. Oh. Oh. Well, here we are. I'm pleased to see everyone is happily so is playing so happily. Team Scarlet Devil Mansion General Manager, Ramilia Scarlet. Good morning. Sorry we woke you. <laughs> well, you should be barging in like that. Make an appointment next time. Come on, don't blow your top. We heard Spell Bubble was trending hard here at the lake. So we brought Super Rookie with me. We wanted to check it out. Stop calling me Super. I'm just a noob. We were watching the fairies playing by the lake, and we were stunned by how much fun they were having. Yeah. We hear you folks have had a hand in that. 
Maybe pulling the strings behind the curtain? Pulling whose strings? I'd appreciate not being accused of mischief. I'm merely aiding in the promotion of Gensokyo's culture, as a noble woman does. Cultural promotion. Is it really that legit? I'll decide how legit it is. You cannot deny that it was me. It was we who made the game popular among the, these fairies, at the very least. They seem to like it, for one. For one? A green created by science, replicated by magic. That's a very interesting venture. Games and children's interests sometimes breathe life into new waves and culture. Since fairies gather around the lake, if they create a new trend against Sokyo, I won't resent that at all. I assure you, I'm not scheming anything. Hmm. Okay. Couldn't put my finger on it, but I did sense some sort of nefarious undertones. But looks like I stand corrected. You really need to stop being so cynical. Not everyone has a hidden agenda. I mean, against Sokyo, they do. Everybody's looking to do something. I just wanted to show it off to everyone, and I'm honored to help. Though I don't know what motivates you. It'd be funny if you just wanted the fairies to think you're cool. Yeah, like, show off the game and then smile and take all the credit. <laughs> just stop looking for faults already. Like, maybe you just wanted some friends? Hey, I have friends. Do you? At the start, I used to be an active player, but now I prefer to watch. It's quite thrilling to watch two top-level players duke it out. Is that also a thing a noble woman does? <clears throat> friends zero. <laughs> Though despite my outward appearance, I am a vampire. If I really tried, I would probably be quite powerful. Oh, let me guess. You quit because you sucked. Why must you always assume the worst? If you insist on patronizing me, I wouldn't mind proving you wrong. Okay, we got a live one. Ooh, we got a live one. Okay, Super Rookie, now's your time to shine. Why me? I like watching fighting games, but I don't like playing them. So I feel that on Remy's part. I know enough that I can I can watch and enjoy it, but I can't execute them to save my fucking life. Alright. Who made this song? Soundholic's probably somewhere in this game. They're a pretty big name. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of theirs. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> We're millionaire. Too. I don't know what that does yet. Thank you. 
Bad time for that. I don't know what that music block thing does. Sorry, not box. Music, music booble. The little music bubble that she does. Uh, like I hit it and it, it spawns one, one of five, and it like stacks them. But then I press the button and it's gone again. You surprised me. No wonder they're a call. They call you super rookie. That was a, uh, that was a good theme. Vermilion Earth. Uh, I should have known it. I should have known it was Soundholic. I guessed it right. But I was just like, let's see. Let me think of prominent creators. Uh, Akatsuki Records, yep. There's Beat Mario. It's only a matter of time before somehow Soundholic gets in here. You were, you were a formidable foe. However, Daga. As I've become better at this game, I can see how it would have its merits. It's not as intense as the Don Maku game. I like how one can play casually. There's a song by Liz Triangle in it? What? What? Really? Damn. What? You know what? Don't tell me what one it is. Unless it's a... Uh, is it Who Killed You and Owen? Because that's, that's the biggest song that Liz Triangle worked on. And uh, that was also in collaboration with Soundholic. No, it's not that, so it's their own- okay, it's their own song. God damn it. Well, I'll get there when I get there. I was listening to a lot of their their stuff back when I uh, saw Osana Reimu. Uh, two of my favorite songs were probably Messiah and another one. I can't remember the name of it. It's a six minute track and it's a combination of Reimu and, Rum and Rumia's theme. And it's, well, it's real fucking sad. That's for sure. But yeah, uh, I found them through the Osana Reimu, and I was like, I gotta listen to them. And then I checked their discography, and like, they 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 retired a couple years ago. Speaking of that, Felt is also retired now. They released their last album, and then they're 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 done. Sad. Sadness. It's not as intense as the Don Maku game. I like how one can play casually. Well, of course, it's more like a sport. Exactly. Both young and old can compete on a level playing field, regardless of their level of spirit power. <laughs> Rumia should be her own unique bubble, not a character. The Rumia bubble. Gensokyo's new sport, spell bubble system it is. Hey, I thought that was my line. New, new, new sport, now you mention it, yeah. According to our research, it seems that Spell Bubble is spreading across Gensokyo like the wildfire. And I've already set the wheels in motion for Phase 2. I just had another group in my mind there. I can't remember what they were. Shit, dog. This is embarrassing. Uh, who was it? Right, Orange Jam. Orange Jam. I found a song by Orange Jam some time ago. It was a it was a three minute mi mix of Sakuna's theme. I think it was called Stronger, and it was really good. I really uh I really like it, but I can't find it on YouTube anymore. And I'm pretty sure it was a I'm pretty sure it was a it was a Sakuna theme mix, and it was really good. I haven't listened to much of them either. I just don't have, I don't dedicate enough time to listening to these artists. And then when I hear their works like this, it's like, holy shit, they're so good, I want to listen to more. I've already set the wheels in motion for phase two. Phase two. Exactly, it's what we've been talking about. Yes, we're talking about, of course, the tutorial. The tournament! 
So now I get tutorial three. Now they're gonna teach me how to play the game. Gungnir. Her spear has a sick design. Look at that. Now, the tutorial. Let's explain Rhythm Beat's stronger cousin. Chain hits. What? Oh, I'm not ready for this. More Bad Apple? Just before the tournament, a special arena will be built on Yokai Mountain, and we will hold our first exhibition match. And we'll advertise the tournament through various matches between the elite gamers we scouted from all over against Tokyo. Elite gamers. Hey chat, wanna hear a joke? What are Romilia's favorite shoes? The answer? Stilettos for a dead princess. Hey. We've also booked some sponsors, and we're already getting applications tumbling in from competitor hopefuls. Wanna get Hakure shining on the action? Time to ride this big wave. I get what you're saying, so this is the tournament you've been talking to. It's alright. If I get 10 points and I get 0 points, I ultimately still have 10 points. I can only gain from this exchange, not lose. Exactly. We're bringing some important sponsors in today. They're gonna help spread Bell Bubble far and wide. Huh? What? Don't tell me you already invited them here. <laughs> Can't minus 10 me. Why'd you go back? Why'd you go behind my back like that? And here I was going to scout them personally. Whoops, my bad. Not like it's any of your business. So what do you say, Reimu? About my thoughts and tournament sponsors and the fired up fans? I think you've seen enough to know. Are we gonna be in this? Are you gonna be in the tournament? Ugh. Why is there audio crust there? I need more time to decide, in spite of all the information you've given me. Some things are still concerning me a little. Having a support company sounds ben ben benin? benign? I don't know, I've never seen that word before. <clears throat> but it isn't the sort of event that would attract people who threaten the power balance against Tokyo. Benign? Damn. I've never seen that word before. <laughs> I'd really like to know their motives for participating. Yeah, prudent as always you are. Hey, being prudent is a good thing. If the worst happens, it's us who'll have to clean up the mess. Well, let's just hope the worst doesn't happen. Can't put myself in a position where I am inviting the trouble. <laughs> ben 10's prequel. Cool. <laughs> ben 9. Well, I mean, after he lost Ghost Freak. Ugh, well, looking at it from your perspective, that does add up. Besides, I'm not saying I won't help you. I'll give you an answer in a few days. And if I'm allowed to participate, I think more positively about that. Toho Bubble Bobble? Bro, I'd be on that shit. I fucking love Bubble Bobble. I've just gotten the hang of this th game after all. It's kind of fun, you know? <laughs> He had more aliens at that point, yes. He did. He had the roly-poly boy. Well, thanks, I'm flattered. But at the original 10, he did lose a uh, Ghost Freak. I don't remember what the fucking plot of that was. I guess that Ghost Freak, it wasn't Ghost Freak's DNA that was in the Omnitrix. It was just straight up Ghost Freak sealed in it and he like broke out or something. That's the spirit. If you have any concerns, fire away. I look forward to hearing your answer. Sure, just don't get your hopes up. 
Yes, of course. So we'll put on it. We'll put a pin in it, okay? Then let me make a suggestion. Hmm? What is it? <laughs> the spell bubble you've got, is it in beginner mode? I got the sense it was when we battled. Whoops, I totally forgot. I still had it set there when we did the tutorial. Beginner mode? That's really a thing? Some of the operations are disabled to beginner mode. We don't want to overwhelm the noobs, you know? Everyone who's going to play at the tournament uses normal mode. You should probably use it too. Noted. Okay, well, I still haven't said yes to the tournament yet, but I guess, like, guess let's change those settings. Roger that. Okay, can I borrow your game for a sec? Where's the dip switch? Okay, that should do it. Next we... Right, I guess we'll need to explain normal mode. Okay, explain away. The dip button, huh? I, 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 I don't know anything about arcade cabinets. What's the stand for? I imagine the D stands for difficulty. Oh yes, edge. Okay, let's show you how normal mode works. What, are there some new functions I wasn't aware of? Exactly, you can combo attacks if you like. Dip switches are used by arcade games for the last settings like difficulty, cost for play, number of lives. Oh, so they, okay. So they affect how much you get for, for token and whatnot. I guess that makes sense. Dual inline package. Weird. You can activate combo attacks if you like. It's better to explain by showing. Let's go. Hundred and fifty one. Notice how the interval between rhythm beats was shorter than before? That's your combo attack. You also hear the voice yelling triple in the middle. Whenever you activate combo attack, a signal always pops up. If it's two hits, double. If it's three hits, triple. That's how you can tell how many you got. What? Let's try it again, don't miss a thing. Yeah, it's definitely faster to learn by doing. Okay, let's try some combo attacks. Okay, so it it says it says when it's gonna be a triple or a double. Like I'm gonna be able to pick that voice out of all the music though. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at it. As long as I see the one, two, it's different colors too. It's a darker blue on the double than it was the triple. So I'll just have to pay attention to that. This is more fun than I thought. That's my Reimu. Okay, let's review. If you hear the yelling voice, you've activated combo attack. Listen closely to the voice and you'll know how many you got. I have nothing more to teach you. Whether you survive or not, it's all up to you, Super Rookie. This game needs to go to more than just the Switch, I think. But the thing is, it's a combination of it's it's Switch exclusive right now, and it's a full price game, and it's kind of niche. So I think it can do well. I hope it's a financial success overall. We'll see. Maybe it'll come to Steam eventually. Genso Wander did. Genso Wander got to a lot of systems. I don't think want to teach you whether you survive or not. It's all up to you, Super Rookie. The real tournament is still on hold. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if they release a com uh, release a combo pack with all the DLC included once it's all out there. And so the whirlwind phenomenon of spell bubble, which came to me only today, spread all across Genso you know, faster than expected. There's quite a buzz about it, not only among Marissa, the residents of Scarlet Devil Mansion, or the Lake Fairies, but also among the residents of the mountains. As part of me resisted its allure, since I've been it's been I've been called unfashionable in the past. But the game's hype was like a cold draft. Once you felt it, you absolutely had to know where it was coming from. And before I knew it, I was really excited to see where this way would take me. And with my brain swimming in ideas, the day came to a close. Sports is a part of culture, and promoting culture is a noble woman's duty. Noble woman's duty, eh? 
I don't disagree with those words exactly. But will this really work out as smoothly as they all think? Maybe I'm just overanalyzing things. Damn. You are overly optimistic, my dear. Damn. Who did this art? Chat. This is gorgeous. Guard at the border. You carry Akuma. Starts with a B and ends with Akira. <laughs> this was it was it was Vampire Killer? No way. It was Vampire Killer? This must be his latest work. I remember he did a Yukari for something when I checked his Twitter feed. So this was what it was, huh? Hot damn. Ugh, hey, don't scare me. Do you always have to peep like a creep? Peep like a creep? Harsh. Can I help it if there's nothing in this world that I can't see? Hey, don't look. Close your eyes. You're not making it better. I told you he was still active. Let me guess, you were watching the events of the day, right? Of course, the shrine made in Apocryde, thwarted by a thousand emotions. There you go again, narrating my life. And you look like you're bursting to say more. Oh, I'm bursting to say lots of things. But now is not the time yet. A fresh bud of grass will attract ants if it bears fruit too early. But wouldn't you say it was our duty to determine whether a plant is a weed or not? Maybe you're just over-worrying? <laughs> if you really feel that way, then I suggest you recall all the names and faces you saw today. Powerful people who signed up to sponsor the tournament. Kaguya Horai-san of Aente. Satori Komeiji of the Palace of the Earth Spirits. Sanai Kochia of Moria Shrine. Kagi is in this game? That's impressive. Usually she gets shafted. Now, how did they all travel to this beautiful land in the first place? Surely you haven't forgotten. You hold grudges, don't you? Yeah. Don't misunderstand me. Gensokyo is all welcoming. But that only works because there are those who fight to ensure that Gensokyo maintains its Gensokyo-ness. Shout out to the fortune teller. I hope that you will fulfill your Hakure Shrine Maiden duties as soon as possible. Chat, I can't get over her art. It's fucking gorgeous. Well, now it's gone. Ugh. Well, she would say that. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. So now what? Now what do I do? Oh, well, speaking of Kaguya... I wonder what she's gonna look like. Is she gonna be small or is she gonna be tall? Kinda small. Bamboo forest of lost. This is gonna be overdrive, isn't it? No, I'm I'm I am genuinely surprised. <laughs> it's not overdrive. Mad dream and dream world. Opponents' bubbles will change color into four different colors for three shots. They will reset on the fourth shot. I can create a force reduction bubble with my ability. When the awakening gauge is low, watch out. When touched, awakening becomes much harder. Okay. It's full power happy life. Uh, I'm not familiar. Shinra Basho, maybe? I've seen her recall them having a very upbeat racing song. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was that one. At first I thought, this would be the place. After wandering around lost for a while, it's clear I shouldn't have come alone. It's not called the bamboo forest of the lost for nothing. Wait a minute, I'm saved. Oi, oh, bunny, hello. Ugh, is that? Red eyes at dawn. Reisen udong inaba. She sounds, she sounds exhausted. Like, absolutely exhausted. Well, oh, fancy seeing you here. So, need anything? That's the wrong rabbit. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I came here without a guide and I totally got lost. Tay fans in shambles. Wait, you probably get that a lot. Are you okay? 
You look really tired. Oh, she actually is tired. Uh, yeah, yes, don't worry about me. There's just a little ma'am at work. Well, sorry about that. You can get back to your nap if you want. It's not you I came here to see. I actually came here to see your princess. Could you maybe take me to her? Hey, the princess? Me? Please give me a break. Now's a bad time. Alright, she's a princess. Of course she needs a little notice first. It's not an emergency, I just wanted to ask her about this. I didn't expect Rainbow to show humility. Your princess is involved with this tournament, right? So I was hoping... Yeah, I don't understand. Some <clears throat> some voices are com some lines are completely voiced, and others are just like a piece of dialogue, and then some of them are just mute. I don't. There's no consistency to it. Hmm. Something wrong. <laughs> I like when Raisin vibrates. Are you challenging her to a duel? You ungrateful little. No, no. Wow, you must be really tired. Your eyes look awfully red. No, wait. That's your natural color. I bet she was up gaming all night with Kaguya. I do also get tired, you know. I challenged the princess and she wouldn't let me go until she was satisfied. And since I, was on a I wasn't able to do my duties, the work has just been piling up and the master scolded me. <clears throat> and, just, and to rub salt in the wound, I had to spend my few minutes off duty playing that stupid game. Yikes, sorry to hear that. Is this how business is done at Ante? Yes, Raisin gets the shit under the stick consistently. No, wait a minute. Your story isn't making sense. The princess isn't satisfied by an opponent who isn't highly skilled. If you insist on seeing her, then... Then... And I'll test... I'll test how skilled you are. Let's see if you're a good match for the princess. I thought so. Your brain is asleep. Alright, I think I know what song this is. I'm, I'm sure I'll recognize it as soon as I see it. Mad World. She activates Gary Jules. You know what's crazy is the Gary Jules version of Mad World isn't even the original. Have you ever heard the original Mad World? It it sounds... It's, it's so out there. It's so weird. But then the, the Gary Jules version is like, wow, this is depressing. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I recognize this song, yep. I have not actually listened to much Shinra Basho in my life. I listened to a few of their things though. Okay. I can't really see either.
I like how those are timed strictly to what the beat of the song is at. I like that. So it's like, if it'll give me a... It'll give- it gave me a- it gave me a six beat there because it went along with the music at that part. That seems hard to do. Cool though. Very cool. I like that. I did win, but I'm- I'm frustrated because I had a- I had big numbers and I want to see big numbers. And then Racing fucking threw it on me. I- I just had to press the button and I would have been fine. And then she's like, actually it's this- it's this color now. Oh, What was I- I felt like I was on a sinking ship, but I'm relieved things are looking up. Yeah, I recognize that song now. Whoa, do you, did I say or do something rude to you? Uh, where do I start? Here's the story from my perspective. I played a game against an overworked rabbit on the brink of exhaustion, and I somehow escaped from it. Oh, is that what happened? Sorry you had to see my crazy side. I didn't mind your crazy side. Sounds like your princess is the real lunatic. Eh? Let's see. Spellbubble, was it? Yes, she's obsessed with it. Oh, that's right. Huh? What's right? All this time, she's been chasing me, begging me to play with her. Lately, she's been stalking me at work, just when I'm about to go on break. So I never get any time off. That doesn't even sound like an HR problem. More like a ghost story. Or an urban legend. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but anyway, I have to escape her. So this is where we part ways. I know she'll track me, so if you stay here, you'll be sure to meet her. Well, until then. Run away! Thank you, Akko, for the resub. Oh dear, now she's gone. Usually it's the princess that needs saving, but I guess some to be saved by- I guess sub to be saved from her. If you're gonna- if you're- if you're willing to talk, you're willing to fight. That's the rule. Desu. A new spell sign is unlocked. Ying Yang Jewel. When a Ying Yang seal is fired, the bubbles in the area gradually turn red. When a Ying Yang seal is fired, the bubbles in the area gradually turn red. I like that one more than the other one. I'm gonna try this one out. Oh my god. <laughs> Knew it. Knew it! New impossible request seamless seal. It's King Kakuji, dude! What are you doing? Turn the bubbles on the first and second row from the top yellow. Oh, why? Cut them down with Thunder Swipe Bubble. When your top row bubbles are popped, you can't make- You can make a lot of bubbles fall. And it's- it's fucking Help Me Eden. Help Me Eden is a classic, though. I love this song. I legitimately like this song. It's great. Of course it's King Kakuji. <clears throat> oh, I'm over here guessing what racing theme is gonna be, and then I just completely disregard Kaguya. Now, and now the princess is here. Wow, that is a mature voice. Oh, you're such a useless pet. Look how much time you made me waste. And a gaming rep, Kaguya Horai san. Aside from Eden, she's the best gamer in Ante, and she's always evades me. Now I'm behind in my sparring practice. Yeah, she's big, isn't she? She's supposed to be taller, shorter than that. <clears throat> Could you be any more tone deaf? Your hostile work environment is killing her. Her voice is a lot more mature than I was expecting it to be, but today things are different. A player representing Gensokyo has to come all this way just to play me. Welcome, my dear. Here at Aante, all challengers are welcome. Her voice kind of reminds me of Hina's from Genso Wander. It has that uh, that same level of softness to it. Wow, that escalated quickly. Unfortunately, I didn't come here to play. Oh, I know that, but I don't suppose you I could tell you much either. Just answer my questions and that'll be enough. For the time being, that is. Hey, hey, hey. It's about the tournament, right? You want our answer? Well, here it is. 
Um, what? It's still just a prototype, but I'll let you in on a secret. It's a special energy drink for athletes who wish to play for an eternity. It's called... Help me energy drink. Chat, did you know if you drink five five-hour energy drinks, you accumulate 25 hours of raw energy? Keep in mind, that's important. So you're selling that to your to the participants. Not to just the participants, no. To all athletes who overwork their minds and bodies. It's a breakthrough of a drink chock full of ingredients that relieve mind and muscle fatigue. And we have two tides available, one for humans and one for yokai. We're in the home stretch of completing it. Aiden and Inaba both did such work, wonderful work. All right, let me explain this one. Um, Raisin has three names, right? She has the Raisin, Udonging, and Inaba. Everyone calls her Raisin. Aiden calls her Udonging because it's a nickname that she gave her. And Kaguya calls her Inaba because she calls everyone I she calls all the rabbits Inaba. So that's why that's why Raisin has three names. Raisin is the one everyone uses. Udongain is the one that Aiden uses, and then Inaba is the one that Kaguya uses. <laughs> Kaguya does not discriminate. Maybe you know what I think it was? I think it was just because she was like when she met Tay. Tay's name is Inaba, right? And she's just like, all right, I guess everyone everyone is Inaba. So she started calling Raisin Inaba as well. Because Raisin's only been in Gensokyo for like 30 years or so. Whereas Inaba, or tay has been here for a long ass time. We're in the home stretch of completing it. Hold up, let me get this straight. You're sponsoring the tournament so you can shill this? The Udong, it, like the Udong tree is a tree from the uh, Lunar Capital. And Eden started calling her Udong game for, she had some reason. Maybe it's because she reminded her of home or something, but she had a reason for giving her that name. Raisin is probably the name that was given to her by the Watatsuki sisters as well. Most definitely, actually, because they say when, when they uh, when they give Raisin to, you know, Ray apostrophe Sen, her name, they call her Raisin. Because they named her after their old pet, who was Raisin, who ran away. So Raisin was her name. That was the name she was given by them. So she's been given three different names, and Raisin's the one she goes with. But of course, why else would we? Why else would? Why else would become a sponsor? Udon game looks like rabbit ears when spouting. Ah, I see. Okay. You actually admit to it. I think nothing's gonna surprise me now. Was it in uh, Lunatic Runagate? Because I, I definitely remember as someone. I remember adding like explaining somewhere why she gave her that name. I just can't remember what book it was, but I think it was uh, Runagate because Runagate has a lot of good lore. The only thing that holds Runagate back from being one of the best uh, written works, in my opinion, is that it requires you to know what happened in Silent Center and Blue to understand it. But there is so much good lore in there, and I, I actually love the style of writing that Zun went with for Runagate. And the only reason I would say it's not my favorite is because it requires Silent Center and Blue knowledge. And Silent Center and Blue is okay. Like, I like it until they get to the moon, and, and I don't like the Watoski sisters. <laughs> they fucking ruin it for me. Overall, though, Silent Center and Blue is good. You actually, ad you actually admit to it. I think nothing's gonna surprise me now. The Moko chapter was absolutely fantastic because it gave us all the official lore behind her. I liked when they uh, they cha they made the seven colored mochi and it looked disgusting because nobody would eat purple mochi, but it actually tasted really good. Oh well, I'm happy for you. Does that answer your questions? Oh, whoops, wrong button. Yeah, yes, and I'm in a hurry anyway. Well then, let's have a little test monitor- test drink monitoring time. Uh, no, I'm really in a hurry, so... If you need to... If you need to kill time, then I'm your gal. Are you ready to rock? She's bouncing. She's a rabbit now. Alright, I hope you didn't forget the- that's just a, that's a solid gold card. Prepare your add-ins, chat. Prepare your add-ins. You know they're coming. 
This was Beat Mario, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it was Cool and Creator Beat Mario. It was Beat Mario. Why didn't it pop? What? Well, that doesn't do anything. I like the uh, I like the red one where it makes more reds because then I could do combo like that. It's better than the yellow one. Yeah, the Iosa song so far that showed up was uh, Marissa stole the precious thing. I really like that song, even though it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's it's just a good jam. Well, you're quite skilled. How dare you defeat me? How strange. I was going at it really hard, but I don't feel tired at all. That's help me energy drink. Works like a charm every time. 
It's also 20 seconds less cooldown, yeah. I wasn't sure how it worked at first, and then I, then I figured it out. It's like, I can just kind of let it expand and turn everything red. Sanitate's newest product, which we can offer unto not only athletes like us, but to all hardworking citizens against Tokyo. I wonder if the, the jewel might work better, since it fires... It fires... If I can fire it into, like, a gap in the middle, and it can spread better. Hmm. <clears throat> I just hope there aren't any side effects. Whoa, back up. What is it? You guys are from the moon, right? Is it really safe for human consumption? <laughs> if you're okay, I'm sure it's okay. After all, you're our first human tester. Whoa, why'd you make me drink it? So far, every track has been an absolute banger. Some of them are new ones that I haven't heard before. Some of them aren't. All of them are good though. Oh, we're going underground. So Satori, who 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 else is going to be down here with Satori? You are not what I expected to see, but a welcome surprise. Whirl sign, autumn leaves, wind fan, fans win. Check the four middle col change the four middle columns of bubbles to red and yellow. Makes sense. Thunder bomb bubble will pop them into a boom when popping surrounding bubbles. You can distinguish lots of bubbles. This morning Star Rocket. I have never heard this one before. Who's this one by chat? I've never heard it before. Is it new? Was it made for this game or is it old? Well, going this going there was a nice thought, but I really should have made sure it was safe before I came here. So she can't why what? Huh? So... <laughs> huh? Why did... <laughs> Why did Automod catch that sentence? So she can't play. That- that's... That- that's- that's bad. Automod doesn't like that. No, you're fine. You're fine. I just don't know why Automod was like, that's not good. That's- a, that's sequence of words. I just hope there isn't any trouble. Quick, chat, someone say he can't, so he can't play, see if it catches it. <laughs> hmm, what's that? Alright, this is a pet peeve, chat. This is a pet peeve. It's really stupid. But, I heard her say ayaya. And that translation says, ah, that's incorrect. That's not what she said. She said, ayaya. Come on. Come, don't try and, you're going to use word like elite gamer and noob here, and you're not going to translate ayaya as ayaya? That's not fair. Also, her wings are very green. I like her scarf, though. Ayaya, a shrine maiden. Wait, meeting here, meeting her out here it can't be a coincidence. Gensokyo's top gossip columnist. I Aya Shimemaru. Annoying people for annoying places, I guess. What are you doing here? What a polite try maiden you are. I would love to repeat that excellent language right back at you. I'm just gathering intel. Juding by the way you look, you're probably after a scoop. How insightful of you. However, I cannot give interviews without an appointment. Wait, what? How dare you come without an appointment? Underground world fixer, Satori Komeiji. Her voice is good. I feel like Satori and Pachi could get away with having the same voice. And you just, you would, you would be able to, you would probably be like, yeah, that fits them. Ordinarily, I wouldn't collab collaborate with a newspaper above ground, but it seems we're both after the same thing. Ah, I knew it. She read my mind. You should get out of here while you can, then. So you're after this story, too. Well, if our stockpile of scoops are taken from us, that's bad for business. But yeah, it's about the game. Oh, I just trying her hand at game journalism. Well, <laughs> good luck. It's been all a buzz since the yokai thing, though I've been following it since it became popular. 
And our, and our shells are surging thanks to it. All hail Spell Bubble! Wow, there's a scoop that's making you excited at a place like this. That's my own business. It's a secret, of course. It's about my little sister, right? I can see that without using my powers. Oh dear, oh dear. What a blabbermouth. Little sister. You mean her? She has one of these games too? I don't wish to divulge much. But I'll tell you this. If both game owners battle each other, I'll give the winner an interview. Yo, what? Ugh, now that's gotten really annoying. Sorry, Remo, but this is a perfect opportunity to turn a journalistic loss into a win. Yeah, her, her wings are very green. No hard feelings, okay? The art is great, I just don't really understand why they went with a green shading on the wings. Like, she's a crow tengu, right? They're, they're supposed to be black. Dark black. Whoa! Damn, I'm getting emails from the movie theater telling me to go see movies in the theater. Lol. No hard feelings, okay? Jeez, does that actually happen? Okay. Aya's wings are black. We've seen them before. Stream canceled. Time to go to the the time to go to the movie theater. Hers charges of one minute. Okay. Ow! I have no idea who Kishida Kyudon is. I've heard this before. Chat, is this a, a remix of uh, Bell of Avarice? It's definitely a mix from one of the photo shooting games. I've heard it before.
Okay, well, I couldn't look at the chat when I asked my question, but uh, was I correct on that? I, I know I've heard that song before. I think it was when I saw a, uh, a fan animation for... Uh, it was Retrospective Kyoko. Okay, that, I knew it was from one of the photo games, and I knew it was one of the last ones, because I remember hearing it for so long. Because I, uh, I watched a little animation for one of them before, and it had that song in it. I knew I recognized it as soon as I heard it. I never knew the artist, though. Damn, that's really good. The vocalist of Akabashi Rockets was the, the lead voice for singing the high school The Dead opening? Really? What? Wouldn't that- that would also mean they did some of the endings too, right? High School did it had 12 different endings, and I believe the singers for the opening did two of them. Including the first one. I think. My favorite ending was Cold Bullet Blues. Oh, oh, so powerful. So you weren't an easy win. Well, now you can truly pursue gaming journalism with skills like that, Aya. I came underground because nothing ventured, nothing gained. But it was pointless. <laughs> I have no choice but to leave, until we meet again. <laughs> I love Aya. Ah, what a fast runner. Well, she's the fastest in Gensokyo. So. You lost. Back to the surface with you. Oh wait, she's gone. Just in case. You're not wearing a wire, are you? Your kind seems to have devices that let you communicate with the surface. No, not this time. No wire either. I thought Tengu never went close to the underworld, and I guess it's true. Uh. So I think I noticed uh, the way the spell card works is it changes the it changes the lowermost bubble into the uh, into the orb. So I need to be careful with how to do it because if I do it too low, then it's not going to be able to spread before I get capped. Look up Yumu by the ban. Kinema Khan animation used with it. I've seen a few Kinemacon, I think. They're the one that has the little Lionsgate parody, right? With the the Yukuri head. And by the way by the way, I'm not gonna remember that. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> a lot a lot of things that I get mentioned to me that I wanna check out, I forget by the end of the stream. I have a real bad memory with that. I haven't a lot of work too. Be like, oh check this shit out. And then I, I would I would be like, yeah, I'll check it out, and then I'd forget about it as soon as I get home. It's weird, but it's like things that happen throughout the stream, it's just like, oh, I don't remember that, and then I don't remember it, because my brain, my brain doesn't want to. If you're here for a scoop at the Palace of the Earth Spirits, it's not the sort of place where we sell out our families. The clever ones run the fastest. Because of this, we've avoided unnecessary bloodshed. Well, of course she's a fast runner. That's the number one rule of being a gossip writer. She was going to use the game's craze as a cover to mass-produce generic articles. The All Hail Spell Bubble gave her away. There, shitting on game journalism. It's annoying enough to having her snoop around my family, but coming all the way here, now it's personal. She's gonna latch onto a new trend, milk the uh, the ad revenue on uh, clickbait articles for first the first person to play it, but she's not gonna be able to play it herself. And there it goes. She should be grateful she's not in eight pieces right now. Go ahead and drop a link, Haas. I know the feeling. Heh. <laughs> Is it strange that I'm telling you this? My favorite, uh, my favorite thought for Reimu. <laughs> the best iter like, uh, iteration of Reimu and Satori interactions I've seen is how whenever Satori starts doing things like reading Reimu's thoughts, Reimu just starts thinking of obscene, naughty things. And then Satori is like, please don't do that. <laughs> Rainbow's a meanie like that. She does it in a. She, she does it against a wander too, to an extent. I think it's funny. She just thinks of seen things to get uh, Satori out of her mind. It works. Satori I featuring YTR. Hmm. I don't know who that is. Brain sign, brain fingerprints. I remember that one from 12.5. It's the explodey one. Send stones to the upper left and upper right sides of your opponent's area. Chain attacks won't extinguish stones. When a chain attack can't be popped, get rid of them by making them fall or with erasing effects. Haven't I been doing that anyway? Wait. 
Humans don't usually hang out in hell. Yo, chat, you wanna know something crazy? Look at her, uh, look at her eye, right? And look at her hearts. They're not connected to her outfit. You know, I always wondered about that. Her, the, the Satori's third eyes are like, wrapped around them with this weird cord shit, right? And the hearts all connect in different places on their body. So you got one on her hair band, the one on her chest there. But then you have a few of these, like, free roaming. And I guess when you think about it, it would be really hard to change clothes if you're, you're, they were attached by these heart things. So I guess they... They're like sticky hands. That's what it is. They're like sti you, Chat, you know those, those those dollar store sticky hands you get? Where you, you throw them and they you, they stick on there and they're like... They, they stick... They, you get three good sticks and then they're garbage? That That's what Satori's third eye is. It's just an eyeball with a bunch of sticky hands. I've solved the puzzle. Well, humans usually don't hang out in hell. You seem to have a question to ask. You call them shitty, but they're sticky. There's a difference. Of course, it's not like I'd casually fall down the hell in the middle of a walk. It's about the... Uh, yeah, what she said. Spell bubble tournament. You read my mind. Oh, yeah, she can do that. <laughs> Just imagine her, like, her eyes slapping some of one of those tendrils. I wonder, do they have nerves? How do they work? What what if you touch them? Is it like, is it, is it uncomfortable? Does she feel it? These are weird questions. Why is one of them tied like a noose? What's going on with that? I want to know how the, the nerves work for those eyes. I, I feel like if you poked it, it would hurt her. But like, what about the tendrils? Maybe they're sensitive? I don't know. I can expedite the, the interview that way. I'll expedite. Expedite? Expedite, yes. Interview that way, I'll answer the questions I can. Well, I'm gonna open that so I don't forget it. Okay. I'll leave that there for now. Yes, please. <clears throat> First, we have no ulterior motives in sponsoring the tournament. We're just looking for ways to more ways to promote ourselves. Yes, exactly. Like animal rescue, etc. You're not even leaving a pause between questions. Creepy. I'm not the play with toys type of person, so I'm not that interested in the game. But my little sister seems to like it. It helps her play with friends on the surface. Oh, neat. Like, how? The yokai on the surface who play that game are young enough to be able to see her. If she uses the game console functions to display herself on the screen, anyone can see her. She can use that game to meet and interact with so many different people, so the game is a blessing to her. Chat, look how happy she is. Even even her third eye. Precious. Oh, wow. So even though her ability masks her from human perception, if she uses the game, people can see her. She's not here today, as usual. She's probably up on the surface playing. I think it's a good thing for her to have a lot of friends to play with. Yes, now she has a circle of friends where she's the star. I'm gonna go crush her in a game of bubble. Hmm, okay, now I understand. Hey, do you have a copy of the game too? Yes, when the magician came selling these, she left two of them. Two for me. This is the nicest story for the Satori I've seen ever. Huh? I don't really play games. When I, we got them, I played a little with Koichi. As I said earlier, I'm not much of a gamer. I'm actually really bad at this sort of thing. Well, that's perfect. You have someone out with you today? Hey, maybe we should practice. I'll help. You want to play with me? You know the funny thing about this? I've seen uh, interpretations of Satori as being a neat. So all she does is read and play video games. And she has a very weak physical uh, ability because she doesn't do anything but that. And then this Satori is just like, yeah, I don't play video games. It's like, huh? What do you mean? So, yeah, so you can play with your little sister when she comes home. Games aren't supposed to be about being good or bad at it. I mean, doesn't she ever coax you? Like, come on, play with me. Oh, please, I don't have to say it out loud for you to get it, you know? Are you ready? Let's go. Explaining yourself to the tutorial is pointless, yes. She can just read your mind. But it also doesn't feel right to not explain things to her. People want to talk. Let me talk. 
She's not a worker. She seems very frail. She probably is because she's just reading doors. Alright, so I don't recognize this song. Goodbye. Tama Onsen. Yo, that art is fucking good. I won, but I need to close it out. <laughs> Yachata, that's a fucking good one. Alright, chat, 
Let me explain my opinions here. I don't like rap. I don't. I, I, I probably never will either. So, yeah. You were so powerful. If you're this powerful class of yokai, it's hard to believe you when you say games aren't really your thing. Well, that's not at all true. I'm not used to this kind of playing. My sister is much more skilled than I. Jeez, how skilled is she then? I guess there's always a bigger fish. <clears throat> Thank you. I wasn't expecting you to go above and beyond for me. Don't sweat it. It was a fluke. Sorry I dropped by unannounced. Anyway, I've got to go now. And hey, when your little sister comes home... Hope I'm not being too... Oh. Hope I'm not being too pushy, but there's one more thing. Unfortunately, we're only participating in the tournament as sponsors for PR. If you want the details, you should go ask the Moria Shrine directly. The Shrine made in Moria was with the, that show-off magician when she showed up at the game last time. Yeah, I'm not saying it wasn't catchy, but like... I, I, just, I just don't like rap. They didn't look like they were up to anything devious, but they might be working together. Marissa and Sanai are working together. Setting the mysterious Sanai aside, blabbermouth Marissa didn't sound like she was scheming something. She's a horrible liar, after all, and I can't read her thoughts. But I'm surprised she was such a hustler. She's quite devoted. Yes, it's really annoying dealing with her. Whoa there, I have to get going, thanks. Goodbye, little one. Rap's like the only genre. Her fight art is great. Rap is just that genre that I just don't care about, no matter what. Well, there's the next part. But, uh, it's, it's been two and a half hours. So I'm ready to stop for now. I like this game. It's fun. The music's good. And uh, we'll, we'll learn we'll learn the extent of the, the the copyright, but for next time, that's for sure. I enjoy it, and I'm gonna play more of that on Tuesday, cause I want to play Pikmin as well. It's easy to lose track of time with this game, though. That's for sure. I didn't think I was going for two and a half hours, but it is very fun. No necromantic. But I don't have the DLC. That's not a DLC pack. I told you I didn't buy the DLC, cause I hadn't actually played the game yet. It's also $12, so before I go and buy additional music, I should finish the mode where that doesn't matter. But I probably will end up looking into it, and I can play multiplayer once it's done too. It'll be fun to play. It's a fun game, I, but, but we'll keep going, see how good it is. Right now I personally like it a lot. There's a lot of polish to it, it has a lot of great music. Good art, fun gameplay, the rhythm part's always fun, because I like rhythm games. So we'll, we'll see uh, we'll see how much more difficult it gets, see if I actually start losing. Because it's getting close, and so I'm really starting to fuck it up. Story isn't very long, by the way. I didn't think so. It's probably just going to introduce all the characters. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for that for now. I'm going to do more of this on Tuesday for sure.